Hey guys, so today's video is a room tour. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I just wanted to show you guys how I've decided to decorate this space and what I've decided to do to make it my own. Um, everything that is um, mentioned in the video, I'll link down below and I'll include links to where you can buy it from, where you can get maybe a similar item because I know sometimes things are sold out. So yeah, I really hope you enjoy this video. I'll link everything down below and I hope you enjoy. Bye. Guys, as you walk into my room, this is pretty much the view that you guys get. Um, I'll just give you guys a quick pan. To the left, I have this really cool kind of, um, I guess you could say cloak rack or something. Basically, this is where I keep all of my outdoor jacket and some hoodies. This is my lab coat that I wear to anatomy. Um, this is one of my favorite winter jackets at the moment, just a cream aviator jacket. Um, but yeah, this is where I just keep all my jackets and hoodies. Um, and it's quite nice because as I leave the door, um, as I leave my room basically I can like pop on my shoes, put on my jacket and then there's some space here for my bag. So this is my pretty much everyday go-to bag, it's just a cloth or just regular Neutrogena bag. And then I also keep some random little bits here, so some tissues, gloves, umbrella and a couple of other bits. I also keep my laundry basket and my aero, as you can see at the back there. And yeah, it's just quite cool because as I leave I can just pop on my shoes, jacket, grab my bag and then go. As you walk in, you have the radiator and this is my bathroom just here. So I'm very grateful to have an ensuite. So I'll just give you guys a quick tour of that. It's quite difficult to film in here because it's quite small, but I'll quickly show you guys. I have a couple of matching bath mats just from Wilco. I keep some cleaning supplies just on the floor there and I have this really like amazing smelling hand wash i got it from tk maxx and my lovely flatmate got me <laughs> these little hand cream things so when i wash my hands i pop on some hand cream just so my hands aren't too dry and i have a nice little mirror there i completely forgot to get a toothbrush holder so at the moment my toothbrush is just sitting on my retainer i had braces a few years ago so i just um kind of let it rest on there and yeah my toothpaste just there i have my makeup removers so just some simple I think my cellar water and then some cotton pads. I'm really trying to move to more like eco-friendly makeup removers. So if you guys have any recommendations for some um, face washes or like makeup removers where you don't have to like throw things away like the cotton pads or like wipes. If you have like a cleanser that just washes off, that's great. I'd be so grateful if you guys could recommend that to me in the comments. I also keep my day cream and night cream just here. I have them labeled day and night. <laughs> and I also use some of the Ordinary's um, serums and stuff i'm a big fan of the ordinary so i just keep it here so it's like really organized so as i leave the shower i can just pop on my day cream or if i'm getting ready for bed i can put on the night cream and then i also have this little plant i think i got from amazon um it's very artificial looking in real life i don't know if it picks up on camera and then yeah regular toilet roll and um toilet brush i got this air freshener room air freshener from wilco it smells so nice when i spray this and then when i wash my hands the smell in the bathroom is so nice honestly and then i also got this little bin from i think b and i think it was six pounds so this is the shower i have my little bathroom rack thingy i need to figure out what this is called but i just keep my face wash and um, this is the face wash i'm using at the moment i really like it just from Boots, it's like tea tree and witch hazel. Um, I also have like a razor in there, a loofah and just some shower gel. I wear slippers in the shower just because when I first got here, the shower was really, really dirty. Thankfully it looks a lot better now, but just because I'm a bit of a clean freak, I wear some slippers in the shower. This is my bathrobe and then yeah, hand towel. So back to the bedroom, these chest of drawers, this one, the wardrobe and the desk, they all came with the um, the room, but all these little um, decorations, this mirror, um, you know, I brought this all from home. So uh, this little pot, which I keep my artificial ivy in, I got both the pot and the ivy from Ikea. I also keep a little pen here because this uh, desk is perfect height for me to kind of like write little notes down and to make my to-do list. So I keep a pen here handy just so I don't have to open and close the drawers. This mirror I got from, I think I got from a charity shop. Um, it's kind of like vintage, I guess, because it's got like little, the paint chipping off. Um, I don't know, it kind of looks cool. And I've just wrapped around some ivy um, along it. I got the ivy from AliExpress, I think, and I'll try and link below a similar mirror on Amazon or something. 
and yeah these are just some of my favorite books that i bought from home i'll link all of them down below this one is one that i mentioned in my uni haul this is a random 10p and then i keep my just everyday perfume i think this is sarah jessica parker lovely it smells really really nice it's nothing super duper crazy or special it's not my all-time favorite but it's just a cheap one for every day and then again this plant pot and this plant this is a real plant i got these both from ikea um the tips of it are going brown which i read online apparently that means that i'm overwatering it so yeah i need to be i need to like neglect it a bit so that it can like go back to normal i guess but it's growing quite well it's um increased in size quite a lot to how it was before but yeah i think this little station looks really cute um i'm gonna take a lot of instagram pictures here i think especially with the lights and my bed in the background and my other plant there but yeah this ivy is um i got two strings of this ivy one of them's here and one of them's over on my desk if you can see so in this top drawer i just keep some of my basic um this is my makeup um some more perfume some bits of jewelry and then just my my lotions and stuff and then i keep deodorant hair moisturizer and castor oil in the next one i just keep my underwear and then in this one it's just random bits so i keep a little notepad and then some random bits of shower gel more moisturizer um skin cleanser perfume more cotton pads i definitely need to cut down on the cotton pads guys and then in the last one i just keep my trousers so these are my everyday go-to jeans my um black flare leggings and then some mum jeans a belt and just some more jeans really so these are my trousers so in my wardrobe i suppose at the top of my wardrobe i have this little motivational poster which says i know i can a couple of you guys mentioned to me in my uni hall which is where i first mentioned this that i should use some command strips to hang it up and i think that's such a good idea i was gonna do it before i filmed this video but i haven't got around to buying command strips yet but what i'm planning to do is have the little poster just opposite my bed so I feel like that would be quite cool to have, you know, that nice little bit of inspiration in the morning to see it just over there on the wall. So I'm going to get around to doing that soon. But I also have a little box of Indomie. If you guys don't know what Indomie is, it's pretty much just instant noodles. And then in this box at the top, I just have a bunch of my Depop stuff. So I also sell a few things on Depop just to make a bit of money. And I was thinking about leaving them all at home, but I thought if I can just put it in a little box and take it with me, then that's fine so yeah i keep that at the top of my wardrobe in the actual wardrobe obviously it's just my clothes i don't have that many clothes i try and color code them because i wear a lot of white in the summer but we're kind of moving out of summer at the moment um but i've got a few jumpers as well i think i need to get a few more jumpers to be fair um i also keep some of my shoes here these are like my clinical smart shoes and then some trainers that box has my stethoscope in it i have a couple of shelves below my wardrobe this one i think i just keep some of my pajamas yeah pajama tops there's not many and then in this one just more pajama bottoms sports bras and stuff uh, these are just some like vests and like tank tops and stuff so next to my bed i have my bedside table i keep this little plant which i got from wilco and the plant pot is from ikea actually no i think the plant and the plant pot are both from ikea i also keep this little picture of me and one of my best friends from home next to this candle which i also mentioned in my uni haul vlog i think this picture frame i don't know where it's from i think i got that as a birthday present but in this top shelf i keep just some random bits so my medication i take every morning just like b12 because i'm like sem somewhat vegan <laughs> so I try and take B12 every single day to make sure that I'm not like missing out and then yeah like calcium vitamin D I also keep like a scrunchie that I used before bed my night scarf and then a couple of little journals so I try and do this really cool thing it's called Q&A five-year journal and it's this really really cool book where basically every day you kind of like um answer a few questions so you woke up at what time and it's cool because you can see you know this year 2020 i'll write down maybe like 6 a.m and then in the next few years i can see what i wrote and you know what's the most valuable thing that you own i feel like that's such a good question to see what you're going to write in the next few years um there's some really cool questions in this it's one of my favorite journals i have quite a few not all of them are like this but uh, this is one that i really enjoy writing in every morning so yeah yeah i have that alongside my gratitude journal this is just a little book where i write down three things that i'm grateful for every single morning and then i also have a couple of other journals i have quite a few um this is quite cool this is my remote for my essential oil diffuser so 
yeah I can kind of like turn it on and put on the mist and stuff it's quite nice because um, if I'm like about to go to bed and I kind of want to turn the lights off but I don't want it to be completely dark I can just use this remote and press press light and then on off for the mist and it's just next to my bed so I can turn that off or on at any time this is my night mask it's so so cute but basically I wake up as soon as I start to see light coming through so I need a little night mask like this to help me stay asleep so yeah that's what's in the top drawer and then in this drawer is my pajamas so this is what I tend to wear to go to bed I change this out obviously every couple of days but it's just somewhere to keep like what I'm wearing before I go to bed and then this is my sports bra and stuff and some leggings I try and do exercise every morning or at least some form of yoga so if I keep it at the bottom drawer there it's just handy so yeah these fairy lights again I mentioned this in my uni haul these are just from Amazon they have some batteries attached and I hooked them up with some command strips so they kind of just dangle um, but yeah I think they look really cute they look quite cute with the lights off as well so this is what they look like with the lights off I feel like it still looks really good but uh, they do look quite cute with them on so on my bed I just have this bedding again in my uni haul it's just from Amazon I think it was like 18 19 pounds and you can't quite see but it's just white with um this like yellow design this pillow is super duper soft but basically it's like a heated pillow where you can like put your hands in here and it heats up you can kind of do that and like put your hands in it but um there's no plugs either side of my bed so it's a bit tricky to like plug things in so i just kind of use it as decoration the heart pillows are from Primark. I think they were three pound each. I'll try and find the links to these heated pillows if I can. I'm sure they're from Amazon. Um, and yeah, that's just my bed. Pretty simple setup. I feel like this would be quite a good place to film. Like if I was sat on the bed with like the fairy lights. What do you guys think? I'm not quite sure where I'm going to film yet. I feel like this is a good setup. I also feel like this is a good setup as well. If I was like sat on the end of the bed here or sat on my desk. I don't know, with the plants. I'm gonna figure out where is best to film. So yeah, this is my desk setup. This is quite a cozy desk chair, I feel like, but um, I tend to keep this one on it all the time just so it's like a soft place to sit on. And then this one, um, if I wasn't filming right now, I'd probably have this wrapped around me because it does get, get quite cold in my room. And this is a little cuddly toy that I brought from home. Um, I was thinking about keeping it on my bed. Um, I'll show you guys what it looks like when he is sat on my bed. I don't know, I just feel like it looks better if he's not there. Sometimes I keep him in the corner, just sat on the corner of my bed or here. But um, for the video, I thought it looked cute if he was just sat on my chair. So also at my desk, I tend to keep my headphones, which are these, um, I can't remember the brand, but they're just from Amazon. I get literally everything from Amazon. Um, they were quite, I'd say quite affordable. I think they were like 30 pounds, if not 35. Um, but yeah, I tend to keep them here. They are wireless, which I love. So on my desk, obviously I have my laptop, um, which is a Microsoft Surface Pro. So it's one of those ones where you can kind of use it as a laptop as well as a tablet. So this keyboard does detach and you can kind of just use it with a pen, which I keep in this drawer. I don't tend to use the pen that much. Um, I tend to just use it as a laptop quite a lot. And yeah, it's quite handy because I just kind of tuck in all the wires through this little gap here so this is my phone charger and my laptop charger i've also kept some of my favorite books from home which i've brought i'm planning to do a medicine interviews video so i've brought this book with me to help me prep for that video um let me know when you guys would like that video to come out i know that interviews tend to happen in december time I also have, this is the same pencil pot which I keep my ivy in across the room and I just keep some pens and pencils, some little um, highlight tabs. I also have some lip balm in, he in here as well. Um, this is my essential oil diffuser which I showed you guys earlier and obviously the remote that's in my bedside drawer controls this which is really cool but if I wanted to just put on the light I can do and this is my speaker I haven't used this yet but I've only been here for like three days so I'll probably use it eventually and yeah this plant which I got a couple of people told me that this plant looks like it's dying because of this bit but honestly guys that's how I bought it is this plant dying I don't know I watered it a few times I hope it's not this gets a lot of light obviously being by the window and i'll show you guys what's in my drawers this one is just like my tech drawer so yeah i keep my i have a wireless keyboard which i sometimes use if i want to edit it's quite handy to edit when i've got a wireless keyboard and um, i also keep my pen which i mentioned for my laptop the mouse which goes with the wireless keyboard and then i have some batteries as well just double a batteries 
I also have, this drawer's quite random, so I have a bunch of cards. I think some notebooks in there, sellotape, and then essential oils for the diffuser. And then I have some body spray here as well. In the bottom one, this is my snack drawer, so I have a bunch of snacks here. My friend got these um, sour watermelon sweets. I can't wait to try these because I've had some of the, like similar ones to this before and they were so nice. So I can't wait to try these, they're from Aldi. I also have some plantain chips, my fave. I also have some chin chin. Let me know in the comments if you guys have heard of any of these snacks. These are so nice. I had the vanilla flavor of these and they were amazing. So I can't wait to try this coconut flavor as well as a bunch of other random bits. I keep my pack of Uno cards here as well. But yeah, this is pretty much just a snack drawer. Um, and yeah, that's what's next to my desk. I try and keep it minimal, nothing too crazy, just simple stuff. And this little station is where I keep my tripod and ring light, obviously, for filming. I haven't filmed a sit down video yet, just my move in vlog and obviously this room tour video. So I'm not sure where I'll film, I feel like this is a good spot. That's quite a nice background to film. Um, but maybe at the end of the bed, I don't know. But then this could also work to film a video. I don't know, I'll figure it out. But yeah, this big plant I literally got yesterday from Ikea. Um, I think the plant itself was 22 pounds and then the pot was eight pound. So altogether 30 pound, which sounds like a lot, but it's actually pretty good because I had to look on Amazon and a lot of the plants similar to this size and this look were like 30, 40 pound without the pot. So the fact that I got the plant and the pot for 30, I feel like it's pretty good. And yeah, he's named Finley. I gave him a name because his Swedish name, all the Ikea items get like Swedish names. So his name is Foreignlig. So I feel like that sounds similar to Finley. I don't know. Yeah, he's called Finley and he lives next to my bed. So yeah, that is my room guys. I hope I've shown you everything. I hope I haven't missed anything out. Um, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video. Give you another quick pan. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.